in the corner. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's so yeah, weird. Like I feel like I'm so far across. No, but that's kind of where the thing is centered. Mm. Okay. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in again. Ew. This week we finally went and watched Shazam, like we've been promising for about two weeks now. Yes. Um, just got back from watching it now, uh, so I've done no research, no read-up, no nothing on it. So yeah, apology. It's probably should have... <laughs> we had plenty of time to do it, but we did it. But no, just got straight to it. Got straight to it, because yeah. Why not? Anytime. Why not? Let's start. What do you think? <laughs> uh, look, I enjoyed watching it. Uh, yeah. I probably, I agree with you, it probably did run a bit long. Yes, yeah, the, I was saying that, it, yeah. Two, it was about two and a half hours, I think, all up. Like it. yeah. So it's, yeah, just unnecessarily long, I think. So what was it about? Basically, it's Billy Batson um, and him discovering his power or getting the powers of Shazam. Yes, bestowed uh, upon him. Which was a pretty interesting, like, it was a good lead up to, the, to that point. It didn't, like, feel like they just ran straight no, to, the, yes. to how he got it and that's it. It yeah. kind of led into it a bit more. Which yes. Was good. So they got good a bit background. of the, the background and the mm -hmm. lore and the myths and stuff like that. So it was all, the main bad guys were the seven deadly sins. Yeah. Clever. Um, and there was a lot of seven everywhere in the film. I'm not sure if that's Sprinkled. something to do with the comics, but... Um, Must be. His mum lived on the seventh floor. She lived in room 707. There were seven deadly sins. There were seven outward points to his lightning symbol. There were lots of sevens everywhere. Seven seven. Sprinkled a little bit everywhere. There was probably more. We'll probably missed them. But if you guys notice yes. any more, leave some in the comments below so I can, when we rewatch it, we can go, oh, yeah, there it is. Just That's it. That's it. Make it a drinking game. <laughs> yeah, basically. So it was the story is basically him and his um, home stay brother. Was it? Yeah, foster brother. Foster brother. Yeah. Um, Freddie discovering all his new powers and what he can do with them. And it's basically like a child with awesome powers. Yes. And the whole movie kind of felt like that. There was It wasn't very serious. It was all about him discovering the powers in, as a child and making it a little bit funny as well at the same time. Yes. Every single time that he discovered a new power, something funny happened afterwards. It kind of became a bit... Yeah, I was actually... It yeah. was... Like the laughs were there. Yeah, uh, definitely. Like but the it just seemed laughing, when... but you knew they were kind yeah. of coming. Yeah. Um, but look, enjoyable to watch. It probably ran a bit too long, in my opinion. Um, okay. Mark Strong is always good as a, a villain. Um, yeah, agreed. Prime he was he did good. kind of do like Lex Luthor a little bit, though. Like Very, the, yeah, I got that vibe. Look. Definitely um, got that vibe. But it is set in the DC universe. You, yes. So you've got to see. You had Batman, Superman, Aquaman, Wonder Woman name dropped everywhere. Yes. Um, Freddie was wearing a different shirt every time. Yeah, of different of superheroes. superheroes. Yes. Um, and then obviously the last end credit scene. That's probably my favorite bit. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. When what Superman just rocks up to lunch with him. Oh no, I was talking about the oh. end credits. Okay, well that back when. that part was. Uh, but yeah. yeah, Superman rocks up. Who is Superman? Because it's not, <laughs> yeah, him, it's not it's him like, travel anymore. Mm -hmm. They just blur out that bit too, like yeah. they did. In they just Justice CGI. League. They should have just CGI his face, like just they the did Justice just, League. Yeah, just have the mouth like halfway. Yeah, they just having some weird they could have. facial they could expressions. Have. Yeah. Um, yeah. So there was a, it wasn't something you can discuss in depth, really. But no, not really like. at all. Um, no. It was a fun movie to watch, and I probably it did change the tone for DC movies. For it did. Life. Like out of all the and ones that probably, they've made recently, this one. Yeah. And this, that's probably a good thing considering best. that justice league kind of flopped everywhere. <laughs> it did. It did. It needed it did. to change the conversation, I think. And I think this yeah. changed. Took a good turn. Yeah. It changed the, the focus a little bit. Yes, it did. It really, really did. Uh, so hopefully with the next DC movies, well, we've got the Joker movie, which has got nothing to do with this universe. With Joe Quinn Phoenix. I'm still excited. And we've got the Suicide Squad 2. Yeah. Um, there's also, I think there's a Birds of Prey adaption as well that they were doing with all the femme fatales from Gotham. I'm interested. Like, I, I, I feel like this movie has kind of restored my faith in DC slightly. Well, look, DC has always been really strong in TV series. Um, yeah, like they've always TV said, series yeah. have always been very popular and they've always yeah. done them really well. Mm -hmm. Whereas Marvel's have kind of with the exception of some of the Netflix ones. I mean, they weren't all great, um, but DC's really cornered the TV market. Yeah. Um, and now maybe, maybe they're recovering is, the, the film that's franchise I mean. like, as well. This is a pleasant change from what we've seen from yeah. them. Yeah. But, Still obviously not perfect, but... No, obviously not a perfect film, but fun to watch anyway. Definitely entertaining. Um, I'd watch it again. What would you rate it out of 10 pop uh, popcorns? Oh, look, I'd give it... 
I'd give it a friendly average six. Okay. Yeah, it was, all, it, was, it was all right. I give it a a friendly five. Nice. Right down the middle. Yeah. Yeah, fair. I would have I would have given it a seven to keep with the symbolism, but no. <laughs> <laughs> didn't, didn't it's not how I not how I felt about it. Didn't seven. No. Uh, so no. five was probably more average. justified. Yeah. 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 Anyway, but we're looking forward to the adventures that's coming out in two oh, weeks' God. time. Yeah. And also, there's a lot of TV series coming out. We've got Game of Thrones next week as well. Should we start reviewing I'm that? I'm so you sad that that's ending. Yeah. <laughs> but excited. But a lot of exciting things coming. And Hellboy. Hellboy comes out this week. I'm not excited about it. It doesn't have Ron Perlman in it. You hate Ron Perlman. No, but he. I actually liked him in that. Actually, that's one thing that I'm like, yes, he, he, had he the did forehead for great it. He had in the that. Forehead for he that. did do great in that. Uh, we'll see how uh, Hopper from Strange Things. I love him. We'll do. Oh, I think it's going to suck, but we're going to go watch it anyway. I know, I'm mad already. Anyway, guys, we better leave it there. Um, <laughs> we will be back on the weekend with an unboxing or a movie review or whatever. Or we'll try something. and do something. <laughs> uh, we'll try and keep, stay on top of things as well. I know we've been a little bit slack the last couple of weeks, but we've both been really, really busy. Yep. But life. we still want to do this. Yeah, life, yeah. <laughs> life happens. Anyway, guys, enjoy the rest of your week, and we will see you on the weekend. All, All right, right guys. Bye. See ya.